Hello everyone, all around the world. I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is Auto Jeff Reviews. Please hit subscribe if you're new, thank you. This is the 2022 Kia Carnival. We're gonna learn all about it. I've been wanting to review this one for quite some time because I've been hearing tremendous buzz and positivity when talking about the drive, the features, just even the looks. So this is exciting for me. No more Sedona, this is the Carnival. It's kind of a hybrid, a transformer, transformer. It's more than meets the eye because it, yes, it's a minivan, but it also has SUV toughness and looks and a feel and a vibe inside. It kind of meshes with, it's not a hybrid, but it meshes with several different styles. Minivan, SUV, luxury minivan, SUV. You'll see. In the coming weeks and months, I'll be reviewing all trim levels of the Carnival so you can see where you fall on the options and the pricing spectrum. But there are five different trim levels. This is the tallest one, the highest rung of the totem pole. There's the LX, LX Seat Package, EX, SX, and SX Prestige. It's prestigious, right? I'm going to show you the features that show if it has earned that moniker. And the pricing, it goes anywhere between $32,000 and $46,000 factory MSRP. And I'm here at Fred Anderson Kia of Raleigh. They were nice enough to loan me this vehicle so I could evaluate it for you and let you know my impressions. So if you're in the North Carolina area, surrounding areas, looking for new Kia, used Kia, or other brands, go to KiaOfRaleigh.com, check out their inventory. I think you're going to like it. They are so nice here. Thanks so much. I'll put the link in the description section and the first comment. And here's how the review is going to go. You can follow along. You can find the chapter, the section that you're most interested in, and just kind of go back and forth so you get all your information that you need for your research or to learn more about the carnival. We're on this turning platform right now, we'll call it, like an auto show. I want you to be able to see the full vehicle on the outside, and then we're going to look on the inside, and then I'll pick it apart section by section. This is so different from a minivan. And then we'll get our first interior look. Again, this is the highest level, so expect to see some features that are pretty amazing. Know that 22 is not imprinted into the seat. Do you see things that might be considered unique, original, different from other vehicles in this competitive minivan class. Yeah, I see some things going on here. Let's look from the back so you can see, I see dueling banjos, dueling 12.3 inch screens behind the steering wheel and the center stack. And then of course we've got our third row hidden back there. Don't worry, we're gonna talk all about it. Let's start under the hood. And my thoughts initially, this is a very heavy hood. It's wide. It's cool looking though. I like these lines here. They make it tough, make it aggressive, but make it bold. It makes an impact statement. As I do my arm exercises here, the arrow points out that the prop rod goes right here. And I like it for do-it-yourselfers. It's out of the way, so it's not here where it's in the way of when you're trying to do work. This has the most powerful engine in the minivan class, a 3.5 liter V6 engine, 290 HP, baby. Woo! That's a lot faster, especially than Toyota Sienna that has 245 horsepower. The question I have is, is power important to minivan drivers? The fuel efficiency here is 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. That'll give you an average of around 22 or 23. So this has the guts, it has the chops to be able to swiftly and smoothly, it rides smooth, go up a hill, get onto a highway, pull out into traffic when you need to. It does that successfully. It's a really nice ride actually. There's some soundproofing here with this hood blanket. And then also it has an eight speed automatic transmission. Again, it's a very smooth vehicle. It's very nice, low speeds, and high speeds, good road trip vehicle. Now this front end, to me it's like looking at an art exhibit. You're going from one section to the next and you see different impressions or vibes. Could be from several different artists to be honest with you. It has the full perimeter view camera system, 
starting with the one right here. Of course, we noticed this. It reminds me of one of those mosaic paintings that you have with different mirrors and at different angles. It just shines. So it's so different from what you see in a normal minivan class. They're trying to get out of that mold. It's exciting, it's funky, it's fresh, it's cool to drive a carnival. Now you've got LED lights, that's great. But look over here, these are the high beams. It's the last section, the last piece in this grill. So low beams LED, high beams LED, amazing. And then we've got different lighting here. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So we've got a lot of metallic, We've got some chrome pieces here. Perimeter parking. So if you get close to something, beep, 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 it helps you. Let's look at the lights. All right, we got this baby in a little bit of shade here. Now the camera is showing that it's strobing, but it's not. It's solid piece. Look at those accent lights. So cool. And look how it wraps around, almost like a superhero logo on their chest plate. That is wild. And here's what happens when we switch to high beams. Right over here. Ho, oh, I got the power. It's get, it's get, it's getting kind of hectic. But how do we turn? So look at this. This is real interesting because the turn signal actually sweeps all the way around. That is wild. So if you're turning one side to the next, and it's also tied on this XS Prestige to the blind spot warning system. I'll show you the cameras in just a minute. And then look over here, look at this light bar. It goes all the way across. So we've got our tail lights, but look where the turn signal, down here. You'll be able to see it during the daytime. You'll be able to see it at nighttime. It's just unique and it's a different look all designed to make Kia Carnival not look so much like a minivan. Remember this is cool. Look at that silver accent piece right there. We're going to look at the full perimeter camera here because this is backing up and you know what's cool about it is watch this you can zoom in a couple spots. That's cool right? Now look at the other cameras. We can see behind the vehicle. Let's put it into drive. Now we can see different viewpoints and now we can change our camera settings and camera view, display settings. This is high technology my friends. Really cool and it'll help you out in so many different situations. This paint color is Aurora Black and in this particular case, it matches the wheel design here. We've got gloss black, five lug pattern with the new Kia logo right here. Oh yeah, baby. These are 235 50R19, so 19 inch alloys on this one here. Do you like the gloss black? I think it looks good for this car. I'd be interested to see it on other colors, maybe a lighter one just to see the contrast and see if it kind of pops. Pop, pop goes the weasel because the weasel goes pop. Let's look at some side profile features. Starting with this right here, we've got the turn signal indicator. It's nice and wide so people can see you from different angles. It also has blind spot. That's standard right here. It lights up kind of like an orangish red color right there. So watch this. If I turn the turn signal to the right, it shows me what's in my blind spot. So imagine the vantage to customers drivers, passengers, just the safety and peace of mind knowing that you can see, hey look, there's Jeff's tripod. It's a car, it's a person, it's a bike in your blind spot. Let's go to the left. Oh, so now we can tell. And look how clear that picture is. This is fantastic. Imagine how that could help you. Plane. Safe travels, my friends. So what do you think of this profile here? Minivan, SUV, which is it? By the way, I'm gonna run around this one right now while you hit subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. And then look at this metallic piece right here, straight out of a trendy art exhibit. 
look at this. Between a combination of what are they doing to, wow, look at what they did. You see several different diamond and hexagon shapes. Sweeps all the way to the back end. And look, it fits nicely with what we see up here, the roof rails. And we've got two different power sunroofs. How is that possible? They each open. Are you kidding me? So look here, we've got kind of a combination of color keyed with metallic accents here. Ooh. We've got lock, we've got smart open. And speaking of smart open, there are several different ways that you could open up these doors. I could use the key. I could use the button right here on the outside. I could also use right here in the B pillar, there's a little button that I could push. And then let's look at the back end, of course. We like this big butt and we cannot lie. Metallic accent here. Again, it follows along with the pattern, sweeping all the way around to the back quarter panel here. Sweeping lights. This is so unique. We've got the backup camera here and it works in conjunction so we can reproduce that whole perimeter view model. This has a 3,500 pound towing capacity, so that could help you get your boats and trailers and small campers and utility vehicles. Woo! We've got a metallic accent lower bumper, and then we've got parking sensors as well. How do you open it? I could do it that way. Look at this cargo space. Best in class, baby. The carnival's perfect in the back area if you want to awkwardly crouch down like I am now. But if I want to stand up and yell at my kid during the game, hey coach, what are you doing? You're not supposed to do that. Peace and love, my friends. But anyway, look at this. I can actually stand up right here in the back and be covered from the rain. Can't really see up above, but I'm just showing you I can do it. There's more to see. And then as we investigate the interior portion, notice that we're going to see Lots of storage room, lots of versatility, and lot plain. And we're gonna see lots of USB ports and power ports. As a matter of fact, nine of them. Nine times, Mrs. Bueller. Nine times. No, 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 no. So we've got a 12 volt circular. We've got a grounded outlet back here. That's pretty impressive. And then look, we've got hooks for groceries. We've also got levers and straps. So what are we gonna do here? Well, let's just pull it and watch it fold flat right there. Pull it, watch it fold flat. You can do that with a one arm operation. That's pretty impressive. The one thing I haven't done is open these back up. I assume we're gonna go this way and then pull the strap. Yeah, and look, it reclines. That's nice. So we go lever, strap very cool this is just a really awkward camera angle but i want to show you the vip lounge chairs if you think you're vip if you want a lounge this could be for you and then we've got third row seats how about a different view get into the third row i can do it this way this is me sitting normally i'm five foot eight i don't have the longest legs or frame that's how much room I have. The seats are very comfortable here. This one's a little bit firmer in the middle. So that'll be the seventh seat as we call it. I guess anybody would call it that. But yeah, so there is room. It's a little bit cramped up here, but again, you can recline the seats just a little bit to free up a little bit more space. The leg room though. Okay, so let's vlog it here. Look at my leg room. This is with the seat. I adjusted it a little bit more forward and it gives that much leg room to the person in the middle row, but you can easily move it back to give more leg room if you want to. Oh, what's that? USB port. Ho! Oh, and there's one here as well. So people in the back have access to plug in, to stay connected, to power up, run whatever they want to run. Look at this, sunshades for the back, sunshades in the middle row too. And then look here, this is the full view without my noggin in the way. We've got air vents up there.
And then also I see latches for child safety seats as well. It's a nice size third row all in all. Now these VIP lounge chairs, they do quite a bit. They remind me a little bit of Honda Odyssey that you can slide your seats sideways to free up walkway space, bring the seats together, get them closer to the people in the front seat if you've got small children. But the controls, I need to show you the controls. This is for front and back. This is going out and in like a motor, outward, inward. Then look at these controls here. They're both the same. So we control so many different functions here, but they're on the inside. So it's just a little bit of a learning curve as you're trying to figure out what to do, what does what. Okay, so watch this. VIP lounge chairs, goes forward, goes way, way back. So look at all this leg room I've got. That's a selling feature. Now, let's say I wanna be more toward the side or let's say I want to be more toward the center. It's like bumper cars, boom, boom, boom. That kid got me. So let's see what we can do. We can recline. We can go back up. Oh, we've got our foot rest that's coming out. That's really cool. And then we could change the adjustment. I'm doing this, again, I'm using this word a lot because I am awkward, awkwardly. But look at that. You can tilt the contour of the seat in so many different spots to make it just exactly perfect for you. So that's cool. I love the versatility here. And again, to make a walkway, I just move over. Walkway to the back. Lots of leg room, I'm good. Let's look at these twin pads here because we've got two different smart pads, we'll call them, that you can do kids programming, your own USB, YouTube for kids. Then we can do Baby Shark, you see. And then here we've got access to YouTube, Twitch, Netflix, Newsreader. That is really cool and now see, subscribe to Auto Jeff YouTube channel. Woo, just there. Kids theme. Okay, really easy. Super, super easy. Holla. Look at this. The front sunroof? No, it's the back. They both open. We've got access to rear air, grab handles. We've got lighting. We've got a camera that looks at people in the second and third row, you can also give voice commands here. Amazing, the power, the autonomy, the freedom, the independence you give people in the back. Got cup holders here, got a grounded wall outlet, and also the 12 volt circular, along with down here, we'll go extra storage right there. And of course you can see my Star Wars socks, may the force be with you. Some other things I find handy, we've got USB ports here so people can control that. You've got pocket nets so that you can put your stuff in it. There's for the side doors. Wow, and look at this. What, what is this? What is that? Oh! So the kids get to press their parents' buttons <laughs> as they're sitting in the back but that frees up more legroom space. That's really cool. Imagine how many miles of use this is gonna be given using people in the back doing what they want. It's pretty cool though. Let's look around the front cabin some more. I love this window here cut out behind the A pillar. When you're in a minivan, you want as much space as possible and that gives you visibility space so that you can see in front of around that pillar a lot of times that's covered in and it's more of a barrier as opposed to an opportunity to see i see that same vibe that matching metallic accent all the way across look at those 12.3 inch screens behind the steering wheel center stack oh and a plane we've seen three different kinds of planes today my friend if you're new to the channel, 
a lot of times I review in a flight path right by the airstrip for Raleigh Durham International Airport. We embrace the planes, they're part of our videos. Look at that Kia logo. Let's get a look at this 12.3 inch screen here. First of all, look at this, you can do sounds of nature. So if you wanna chill out, you want a little namaste in your life, you could do sounds of nature. There's so many different things you can do with this. I can set up for the map by the Angus Barn restaurant, navigation, all sorts of goodies that I can do with this. And then let's look around, we can do radio. Don't want that on. You can do FM, AM, Sirius XM. That is cool, look at that theme. That is really neat. Media, I love this. Reminds me I'm at, I'm at Spencer Gifts in the mall back in the 80s, but it's modern now. So here's our flashers. We already saw what they look like from the outside, not from the inside. So you can seek, you can set up, you can do a quiet mode, passenger view. Put the quiet mode on. That keeps it quiet in the back and also quieter in the front so you can listen to music and things like that while your kids sleep. Passenger view allows you to use that camera right there so you can see people in the second and the third row. So let's see what I mean by that. Quiet mode. When quiet mode is selected, it'll be played only in the front seats. All volume levels above seven will be decreased to seven. Do we want quiet mode? No. But do we want passenger view? Passenger talk allows you to talk amplified to people in the back so you don't have to yell. Now look at this. That is really cool, folks. Look at that. We can see people crystal clear. We can zoom in. What technology? What technology? Your phone. Let's cancel that out. Rear climate controls. I'm just looking to see what might be interesting to you. So again, lots of things that you can do with this system. You just have to know where to look because there's a lot to see, there's a lot to learn. So much to see, so much to do. So what's wrong with taking the back street? All right, now look here. This is what the display looks like, 12.3 inches. I wanna show you the drive modes. Right here, we're gonna push. Got some eco, some sport, some smart. So eco changes, we're at the track. We're looking cool. We're looking normal. Eco looks like we're out of the back to the future. So that's how you can change. So you can get better gas efficiency. You can customize. You can do sport mode for better acceleration, whatever you want to do. To me, the seats are very comfortable. They're leather trim seats. And I'm all the way down now with the power controls here on the driver's side. I can go up. So if I'm shorter, if I'm taller, I think we all know I'm shorter but you can also recline your seat almost all the way back, probably this kind of an angle, we'll go that way. So that if you're tired and you need a place to stop and take a break, you can snooze for a little bit to refresh yourself. It's also got lumbar support as well. What about the passenger seat? I wanna show from different angles. So I can go forward, I can go backward, I can twist it, I can go up. Let's go up. So again, for taller or shorter people, I'm going down and reclining at the same time. How can you multitask? Well, I did. I'm always a fan of Bose system. It's just powerful, it's crystal clear. It just, in short, sounds really good. And generally, it's centered all the way throughout the cabin so that you can get the best noise for everybody, not just the people in the front. This has a Bose system on it. Look at the accent pieces here that go along with the dark seats. We really break up that interior with so many different styles and textures and colors. Can you see the color? Look at that. That is nice. Nice. 
These are heated and cooled seats. You can get heated and cooled seats in the second row as well. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, you can do it. They're right here. Heated, 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 cooled, cooled, cooled. Then we've got cooled, 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 cooled. Let's look at some other functions here. It's temperature controls for the front, the back, and both sides. Push button start. I do like the volume and tuning knobs. I think that's nice. And everything's laid out nicely. So if you want to go to a certain section, I want navigation, you just push that. If I want to go to the map itself, then I just do that. So we can pinch, we can zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, wrong manufacturer. Then we've got USB ports here, Qi wireless charging, QI right here. Your smartphone goes in there. And we've got more, more, more storage room, our drive modes, electronic parking brake, and then auto hold. It holds you at a traffic light so you can stretch out your legs once you push it and it's active. What do we got in here? I'm not going to show you the plane. Oh, wait. Yeah, I might. That's four that I filmed during this video. I'm sure you're impressed. Okay. We got light, camera, action, and do we have sliders? Yeah, we do have sliders, so it covers the whole length. I don't think I've ever done a video with I, the visor at that angle. Maybe that was cool. Remember, there are five different trim levels of Kia Carnival, starting with the LX, which is about 32,000, and then going up to this one, which I think is 46,300 as far as your factory MSRP before shipping and delivery and extra individual options. I find the vehicle to be very comfortable. I love the features. I love the versatility with the seats. There's so much you can do, so many ways you can configure seven, or if you get the eight passenger trim levels and configuration, then you can fit eight people. So enjoy that, enjoy the technology, and test this out for yourself. See what you think. I think you're gonna be impressed, I know I was. Thanks so much for watching, I appreciate it. I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews on TikTok and Instagram, so if you could follow me there, that would be great. And then please hit subscribe if you're new. If you're following along with the channel, thanks guys so much. Let me know in the comment section what you thought of Kia Carnival. Woo hoo hoo hoo! I liked it, I liked it like that. Ba, dun, 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 dun. All right, see you guys next time, I'm out.